What's up guys? It's your girl Elisa from StylishCurts.com and today your girl is back with a new video. I feel like it's been forever since I've done a video. This is literally my first video of the new year. I just couldn't get life together this past couple of weeks. I was kind of on vacation and just chilling and you know staying away from work but then I was definitely like, girl, you gotta get up, get out, and get something. How will you make it if you never even try, you know? So I was like, listen, get up and film this video. So in today's video, I am doing a couple of things in this video. Number one, I'm showing you how I created this awesome look. Like, this eyeshadow, <laughs> when I tell you, when you see what eyeshadow palette I used, listen. This lip, listen. So I'm showing how I got this look, but I'm also doing a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away a very nice package to one lucky subscriber out there because it's in celebration of hitting 20,000 subscribers. Yes, I'm very excited about that. You guys just don't know. I'm very excited. So that's the second thing, a giveaway. Now, the third thing is a mini q and A. I asked you guys, what questions do you have for me, especially since, especially since you've been following me for so long? So uh, a few of you answered, um, not a whole lot of you, but no, <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. A few of you answered and sent me some questions. So I'm answering questions today, so a Q&A. So clearly this is a long video. So get a snack, get a drink, and definitely watch it straight through, especially if you want to enter the giveaway and see what's in the giveaway. And I'm, I'm not going to keep talking because you guys told me I talk too much. You talk too much and you never shut up. So I'm actually not helping now, right? Okay, anyway. So if you guys are interested in checking out this video, you already know what to do. And that is to keep on watching. So let's just get this show on the road. So before we get into the question portion of this video, <laughs> let's kick things off first with some primer. I'm going to use this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pore Primer. So it basically is supposed to give you the illusion of poreless skin and it's oil free. So to all my oily, oily girls, this is a good one. Um, it's white, so a little bit goes a long way. And trust me when I say a little bit goes a long way, girl. So let's take a little dab on this, rub it together, and then I just like to just dab it into my skin. No, let me stop. <laughs> so I just put it on my skin. All right, so let's get down on this foundation. And today I'm using the Born This Way. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I love this foundation so freaking much. Um, this is one of the shades that Jackie Ina created, which is Sable. I feel like I'm like the only person on YouTube <laughs> in the dark skin category that got the shade Sable. Everyone got Tiramisu. I have a whole review on this. If you guys want to check it out, you can click the link above or in the description box. I'm just going to shake it up and then I'm just going to put a little bit on. And I love how creamy this foundation is. All right, so let me um, start answering some of your questions. I feel like a lot of the questions were about blogging and, you know, how I got started and things like that. All right, so I'm going to just use a damp beauty blender to blend this out. I love how this foundation blends out with a beauty blender. But can you see how rich and creamy this is, though? Like, this is good. I'm probably going to have to take my earrings off because I don't want to get any makeup on it. The first question came from Katie. And Katie says, I'd love to know your story, how you got into fashion and blogging, what a day in your life is like. And she said, I love your cameos and Kelly B's videos too. Um, you guys were so fun to shot with. So if you didn't see, I did um, a collab video, my first collab video actually with um, Kelly Brown from And I Get Dressed. So you guys should check her out if you aren't following her. But anyway, so let me answer Katie's question, which is, I'd love to know your story, how you got into fashion and vlogging. Alrighty, so I did a whole video on this, on how, uh, no, actually the video was on how I quit my job, 
but and became a full-time blogger i will just briefly you know tell you tell you how i got into it and then you guys can watch my full video on how i quit my job and i'll link that up top as well as in the description box the next thing i'm gonna put on first is um a little bit of eye primer and i'm gonna use this primer from carity cosmetics it's a long lasting anti-crease primer um so i'm gonna put that on but anyway so i've been blogging for over over nine years so this year actually will be my 10th anniversary as a blogger and let me just say i never ever thought that starting a blog would have allowed me to do all the things that I've done and I would have well I can't say I would have never thought I would be doing it full time because when I did start that was the goal so I got my start in blogging back in 2009 and I actually saw an episode on the Oprah show this is when Oprah was still on her show was still on and she had a mommy blogger on there and this mommy blogger was saying how she was able to quit her job after i think after a year or two of, of you know being a mommy blogger and she basically made her same salary as a blogger that she did you know working her corporate job and at that time when i saw it on the oprah show i was already like maybe three or four years out of college and my dream job was to be a fashion editor at a magazine that is the the only job I've ever wanted um, next to being a journalist. So I went to school for, I got my degree in communications. And so that's what I always wanted to be. I knew I wanted to be in media. Uh, but when I graduated, it was super hard to find a job. It was super hard to find a job in the magazine industry. I didn't know anyone who worked in the magazine industry. I didn't have as many internships as I should have or the experience to even get my foot in the door. And so at the time I was like, I need a job. <laughs> so I wound up taking a job in finance. And when I saw that Oprah magazine, Oprah magazine, when I saw that Oprah show, um, and I saw that lady talk about how she started off with just right kind of journaling what life was like as a mother for her. And okay, guys, I can't talk and do things at the same time. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to do this at the same time. I'm gonna try to talk and do my makeup at the same time without pausing. All right, bear with me, because some of you in the comment sections are like, you talk too much, and you never shut up. But I can't help it. Anyway, getting sidetracked here. So, <laughs> um, when she said that she started out with just like one kind of journal, and she would email it to her family and friends to read it, and I guess a friend told her about of blogs at the time and that's back in the day when you used to have to pay to read someone's blog um and she said she just decided to start one and it took off from there so i was like you know what i could do that too so basically i was i just said to myself maybe this is my way of being uh becoming a fashion editor having this blog so that's pretty much how I got my start. I decided to figure out what I wanted to blog about. And I was, you know, I was kind of um, at a standstill with it because I was like, what the heck can I blog about? And then I thought to myself, I'm like, okay, what are you passionate about? What are you interested in? And I was like, yeah, I do want to be a fashion magazine editor. So why not write about fashion? And at that time, there really weren't a lot of fashion blogs. And then I said, well, how can I write about fashion where it's relatable to people. And then I was like, you know what? As a plus size girl, um, I get a lot of questions about like, you know, where do you shop? And you know, you always look so nice and put together. And I was like, you know what? I'll write about plus size fashion. And literally I did. I started a blog. I literally had like two readers, which it was my mother <laughs> and myself <laughs> as two readers back in 2009. And I really, I wrote articles as if there were thousands of people reading my blog like I didn't just write crap and then at that time there weren't a lot of blogs that were covering fashion as a resource like my when I started blogging my blog was very much about you know where to shop for plus sizes how to find certain trends in plus sizes I covered celebrity style which a lot of people were not covering plus size celebrities back then so I was covering a little bit of everything in fashion but making it pertain to plus size women. All right, so now I'm gonna use this uh, Carity Cosmetics. This is their matte palette. 
which I think this launched like in the towards the end of summer this is a really good matte palette so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go in with this chocolate brown color here and if this one what is this called this is called Huntress so I hope you guys can see that yeah this is called Huntress and I'm just gonna use that as a nice little transition color all right so anyway so that's pretty much how I started all right so now I'm gonna go in with I would like to say it's the star of the show so this is the Pat McGrath labs uh, palette this is the mothership subversive palette uh, I've had this palette since literally this I, I want to say the summertime no maybe fall so I think I got this palette in September had it never used it and so today seems like the perfect day to use it yep this is what it looks like super pretty i love pink and purple eyeshadows anywho so the next question that katie asked was what's a day in your life um what's a day in your life like so i feel like i've done a video on that too I, i've given you guys a couple videos showcasing like what a typical day is like for me um and then i even gave you a little glimpse into being a mom and a full-time blogger so i'll leave links to those videos in, as well but briefly my day can be anywhere from jam-packed going to events going to previews uh conference calls uh writing blog posts drafting blog posts coming up with video ideas um talking to a few of my writers it can be as jam-packed as that and then some days can truly just be quiet like some days depending on how i schedule myself i could be filming videos all day and nothing else i could be writing blog posts all day and nothing else i could just be taking photos all day and nothing else so it the day is never the same so i'm gonna go in with this little matte purple shade right here hope you guys can see that yeah so i'm just gonna do this little purple matte shade here so yeah so that's pretty much a typical day all right so let's get to the next question so the next question is from olivia k so olivia k asks have you always been plus size and how do you manage your weight hmm okay so no i have not always been plus size so i'm gonna go in with this light pink shade right here um i don't know the names of this i'm sorry but i'm gonna take that light pink shade and i'm just gonna put it and on the front corner, I'm using an angled brush. See, there go that heater again. And I'm just gonna put it on the first part of my lid. Like right here in this little in the corner too. Yeah, so no, I did not grow up plus size. I actually grew up very skinny. And the funny thing is, being on both sides of the fence, you really can't win with society. You really can't. So I remember growing up being teased for being too skinny. Then I think it wasn't until about maybe my eighth grade year getting ready to go into high school is when I, I felt like my body just started to truly develop. So I started to put on um, weight when I got into eighth grade. And then by the time I got to high school, I definitely felt like I was teeter-tottering on regular women and going into plus. So I think I was like size 12, 14 at that time. So, um, yeah, I, I didn't grow up plus, but like I said, being on both sides of the fence, you really just can't win. And so I think that's where part of my confidence came from, was just like, listen, I, I can't please the world. I can only please me. So I just decided to, you know, love the skin I was in or the skin I'm in now. And if there were things that I wanted to change, I would change it. What you guys would be surprised to know, I always go, if I were disciplined enough, I would honestly be a bodybuilder. I, like my favorite part of any workout is weightlifting. Like I get excited if I, listen, when I don't feel the burn, I'm like, okay, let me get my form right, let me get it together. But when I feel that burn, I'm like, burn, baby, burn. I always say, if I had the discipline, you never know. One day you might see me out here trying to do a competition, but I would totally be a bodybuilder. All right, so the next question is from, I'm gonna 
I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly. It sounds like it looks as if her name is pronounced Row because it's R E A U X, and then there's Bailey. So it could be Row or Rooks or Reox. <laughs> I'm terrible. Bailey. <laughs> she asked, I'd love to know where your love of fashion came from. So I actually like that question, and funny enough, I don't get that question a lot. But my love for fashion. Wait, before I start on that, I'm going to move on to another shade. <laughs> so, all right, so the next shade I'm going to use is this. i got to use this purple shade. Do you guys see that purple shade in the middle on the bottom row? i got to use that shade. I cannot let the day go by without not using that. All right, so my love for fashion literally and honestly came from fashion magazines. So... When I used to read magazines back in the day, before you saw any kind of plus size women in magazines or any kind of model that had a little meat on her bones, I never read magazines in a way where I felt like it made me feel bad about my body. I would always look at it for the clothes. And then obviously if there was anything in there that I knew I couldn't buy or afford because <laughs> that's what magazines used to put a lot of high price stuff in their um, in their magazines not see today you get a lot of high low in magazines but back in the day everything was high price designer oh my gosh this purple is freaking amazing do you guys see this purple I'm in love do you see that do you see this oh my gosh <laughs> ah! All right, so now I'm just gonna use this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Pencil in Zero. It's just a black liner. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on my lower lash line. But yeah, so that's pretty much where my love of fashion came from. And then also, as I read fashion magazines, I really started to learn designers. Um, and this started like back in high school. And, um, and then also like from my family, like I really come from a family where, you know, they say things like suited and booted, <laughs> or you dress to the nines and you're looking sharp. So I come from a family that definitely dresses nice 24 seven, like even their pajamas are put together. <laughs> uh, so, you know, my mother, my aunts, um, my dad, my uncles, like they all were just, fly people so fashion I feel like has always been around me but I really got into like designer stuff and just knowing how to put things together from fashion magazines. I'm gonna take some of that purple that dark purple and I'm also gonna just brush it on my bottom lash. Oh this purple is just freaking awesome but yeah so anyway let's move on. So I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, eyeliner at the top I'm gonna use this It Cosmetics Superhero Liner and um, I'm just gonna do a little wing cat eye. All right, so now I'm gonna do a little highlight. I'm gonna use this NARS for highlighting and this is the uh, Dark One Cafe. So I really like this NARS concealer. Um, so I'm just gonna highlight under my eyes. But you guys know what I would be doing if I were not a fashion blogger and if I never gave up on this dream you know what I would be I would be a rapper that's what I wanted to be in high school when I was in high school well even from junior high so I have a love for fashion and hip-hop I'm the kind of girl that will argue you down and hit about hip-hop especially when we talk about 90s and early 2000s hip-hop I'm telling you I'm, I'm, I'm a beast no <laughs> but anyway I would definitely have been would have been a rapper so in high school I used to rhyme <laughs> and also um, my rap name was going to be Miss Chocolate Supreme <laughs> I was gonna call myself Chocolate Thunder until someone my, my best friend told me um you know that's a porn star right I was like no it's not it was like <laughs> so Chocolate Thunder had to go so I was like you know what I'm gonna give myself something cool and smooth and and, and chic <laughs> so I was like Miss Chocolate Supreme because I always want to represent for the chocolate girls but anyway so that was going to be my name 
I'm digging this purple and pink. Dude, like this eyeshadow is amazing. The pigmentation on this is so good. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with this uh, Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is in dark, no, this is in deep, medium deep. This is one of my favorite, favorite powders. And if you are a dark skin girl, I'm telling you, skip the white powders and the yellow powders and get the medium deep, I'm telling you. All right, so now I'm gonna set my face with the Born This Way. This is their uh, Too Faced Born This Way setting powder. This is in translucent deep. So I feel like I really bought the wrong shade because I was using this to set under my under eye, but it's too red to do that. So I have turned this into my all around setting powder, you know, for the foundation. So some days I use this just with foundation and I like how it, I like how it looks. So I'm gonna contour a little bit and I'm gonna use the Makeup Geek Deal Breaker Contour. So this is in the shade, uh, well it's called Deal Breaker, it's Warm Deep. So I love this because it's nice and um, dark enough. I started way too high, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to start up here, but to start here, it's okay. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with some blush. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio, and this is the Berry Palette. So I'm just gonna use this um, Berry Colored Blush right here from it. And that, what's that one called? It's called Velvet. Yeah, let's use Velvet. And I'll use the one next to it too, it's called Exotic. So I like Anastasia products. I think they've come such a long way, but I think they've made some really smart product choices and just really have grown their brand to something amazing. All right, so let's hit this face with a little highlight. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Highlighting Powder in Seduction, and I'm just gonna put a little bit on the cheekbones. All right, so now I need lashes. That is the only thing I feel like I'm missing. So I'm just gonna use these Ardell Wispy lashes and pop them on really quickly. All right, so now I just popped on my lashes and I'm gonna go in with this Better Than Sex mascara and fluff these babies up. All right, so now we're gonna get into the giveaway portion of the video. <laughs> now I'm just going to spray my face. I'm using the, um, what is this? The Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. Let me let my uh, mascara dry down just a little. So for lips, I'm gonna use, uh, this is Pat McGrath as well. So this is Pat McGrath Luxe Trance Lipstick and this is in the shade Wrecked. How cute is this? I love her packaging. But this is a very nice fuchsia color, which I love fuchsia. This is nice, I like it, I like it. All right guys, so this is the finished look. How did I do? I think it's a pretty good. I think it's a pretty good. This eyeshadow, listen, Pat McGrath. This, what was, what um, palette is this? This is the Mothership Subversive La Vienne Rose. Listen, y'all, it's worth the 50 bucks. This, this, this baby was 50 bucks. I was side eyeing it like, mm. But now that I see the results, we're here for it. Lipstick banging so all right so what i'm giving away today for one lucky subscriber is a couple of things <laughs> so it's gonna be one big package again like i said i'm just so thankful for you guys you guys have shown me so much love for the past year so the first thing i'm giving away is from urban decay cosmetics so you guys might remember this bad boy. Wait, let me get the light right. The light is beaming. Okay, let me back up. <laughs> All right, so it's this Urban Decay. You get the whole set. And what you get inside, if it's not messed up. <laughs> All right, so inside you're gonna get the Born to Run eyeshadow palette. All right, the glare is getting on my nerves. There we go. You're gonna get the Born to Run eyeshadow palette. 
You're also going to get all three of the new Born to Run lipsticks. Then you're also going to get the uh, spray, which is the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Spray. You're going to get that. And then you're going to get all three of the um, Urban Decay 24 7 Eye Glide Pencils, which I just want to say are literally some of the best most softest pigmented eye pencils on the market all right and if you've never seen my review on this palette i reviewed this palette uh they actually sent me two uh pr kits so that's why i'm giving this one away so nothing was open or used but i have a review on that palette i'll link it above or in the description box for you to check it out then <clears throat> you're also going to get this little mini makeup brush set and this is from sephora so this is the sephora collection dark rainbow uh it's called ready in five brush set so it's a travel brush set and inside there is a little travel case for you to put the brushes in and it's nice and glittery so this is super cute then there's more <laughs> all right so in addition to those two items you are also going to get not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six. You're going to get six velvet liquid lipsticks from Carity Cosmetics. Now, for those of you who may not be familiar with Carity Cosmetics, they are a new makeup brand that um, they are, I think they're vegan or animal cruelty free. Did a review on their uh, liquid lipsticks, so you can check that out as well. <laughs> we're not done sis we're not done and also in that package you are also going to get the brazilian bum bum cream yes that's what we have for them alex today the brazilian bum bum cream if the light works right <laughs> uh, maybe i should bring it back or down up down okay anyway you're gonna get this a uh, set of three brazilian bum on creams you can share this with your girls or you can share this with your man now this is supposed to tone this does no toning for me i can tell you that right now it just smells really good and it does kind of give your skin a little sheen but nonetheless it smells really good if anything else so you're gonna get this and as you can see this is a nice gift all right we have one more product you're gonna get you're also gonna get one of my favorite brushes ever and that is from it cosmetics and it's their heavenly skin skin perfecting brush this works well with uh, cream and liquid foundations so i love this brush so you're gonna get that and that's everything that one lucky person will win I will leave all of the entry rules down in the description box for you. It's going to be simple. I'm not going to make you jump through hoops and cartwheels and backflips to win. <laughs> um, I just ask one thing. Make sure that you are subscribed to this Stylish Courage channel. Uh, but there will be a list of rules in the uh, description box for you guys. And that's it. Again, I just want to thank you guys so much for your support. Um, I just am just appreciative I don't want to keep being repetitive but anyway everything that I use today on my face will be linked in the description box for you guys to check out in case you're interested but I'm telling y'all <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much I will be back with more videos and um, I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you in my next video. Make sure you check out the blog, stylishcurves.com. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.